left it all. What's happening, y'all? It's your partner, Lush One, back in effect, Delmon Crew. We live in East Oakland, you feel me? At East Bay Six Studios, Grind Time West Coast, and we got, you feel me, Frontline in the house. And I know that's a cheap shot, but it's no way to defeat Locke. You got a better chance of hearing Dr. Dre beatbox on Detox. Oh. EA Ski, Locksmith ain't a group and in this cat left, you feel me? Just a ridiculous group, you know what I'm saying? To come out the bay, one of the hardest uh, groups to make the biggest impact in the past, you know, few years out here. You've been you've been uh, on the battle circuit for for a lot of years, you know what I'm saying? The first actually, I actually not to cut you off, I haven't no, been no. on the battle, battle circuit that long, man. Honestly, man, I um I did that shit a few years back, mm -hmm. you know, because I just happened to find a knack to do that shit. I always was an artist, you know, working with Ski, working with Left. We made you know big hit records, and um and now I was just like, man, I, I want to do this shit again. When you think lock, you think pop, Trey, Q, all in one mix, fam. When you think daylight, you think big sight. Nocturnal badass Ooh. and the hitman. <laughs> no bull, look, no bullshit, fam, but you trying to attack me. And if y'all don't know who the hitman is, well, that was my point exactly. <laughs> You're able to get that, you know what I'm saying? Out here in the Bay, especially that mainstream radio love, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, keep a real set sharp sensibility about your hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you like how how do you, how do you manage to like do that, you know? Man, it's not it's not even nothing to manage, man. I mean, you know, for once, you know, for one thing, me and my partner left, we always had a musical mindset. Then we got with Ski, you know what I mean? The shit was just like, basically, it was just like second nature. And how did that mean? happen, actually? How did you look, uh, hook up with this dude, who was actually a legendary artist in my eyes, and, you know, not only a sick producer and beat maker, but I was slapping this cat since before the Friday sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's a legend, man. Last if I have to, you know what I'm saying? It's a legend, man. But how did that, how did that come to end? Um, basically, I just came, you know, we had a mutual um, partner that we was working with, and we just clicked, man. You know what I mean? Me and Ski, our work ethic is like, like, I mean, we try to outwork each other. Right, right. I mean, on right. the real, you know, like I said, these cats have been putting in a lot of work. And, like, one thing about artists, for me, is to see you on that grind. You know, cats always got a demo, or they want you to put them on. It's the hard work. It seemed like a lot of cats even here, they putting in work. I'm hearing songs in the studio. I'm like, mm -hmm. that's what it's about. You know, mm -hmm. people... You can't just go and tell people to put you on. You got a show. These cats were showing. They was out battling. They was had songs. They had records, mm -hmm. and they was disciplined. You know, a lot, a lot of cats. They want to keep running the streets. They want to do whatever they want to do. You got to be focused. This music business is, is 200. How do y'all stay so relevant without conforming to a lot of the bullshit that we see in the industry? You know what I'm saying? Like y'all still like you still be hearing the name buzzing, but you ain't following on the trends, but still making music that appeals to the people. I mean, you know, it's just, man, you know, just being real with the music. Like, a lot of people feel you got to overkill music. You got to just constantly do this, do that. You know, actually, that makes people just sick of you. You know what I mean? Because right. especially if the record, you can't make a gang of hot records. You know what I'm saying? It comes with time. It comes with just focusing and, and, and just keep on standing in the lab. You know, Left right now, he he playing tracks that's fire. You know what right. I mean? Like, like, like shit. And I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? And you can see the growth. And that's what we try to do. We try to just let it organically grow. You know, the streets come to you. You don't, mm -hmm. like, people think we just went to radio and we get ready. We don't, that didn't happen. You know, we, we work hard in the streets. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I never, I mean, I've always been a street artist. Mm -hmm. My records just happen to go over there. The same with Keek. The same with a lot of artists. We just work hard to make the records solid. How do y'all feel, y'all fit in the overall landscape of Bay Area music? We don't. I mean, we don't <laughs> That's what I was about to say. You know, <laughs> we, don't, we don't fit in it because of the fact that we don't have the same mentality. The, the, the Bay mentality to me is, you know what I'm saying, is that, like you say, is to, to do a lot of mixtape, do this, do that, do that. You know, to be a real artist, man, you have to go outside this area. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why we hooked up. Right? We see y'all doing yeah. different things. You got to show other people that you're not. You got to, if you're going to be the truth, you can't be the truth in your own backyard. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't matter if you're the truth here. If you can't get off the plane and go to L.A., you can't go to Houston, you can't go to New York. We went to New York, they was like, they was tripping. We did the truth in New York. And they, they went to that. And now we, right? we thinking they going to hate. It's like, it's crazy how you'll see like artists out here might sell 30,000 units, but no one knows when they are outside of the Bay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'd like right. to see. Well, see, that's the thing, because in, in Houston, they understand the, the unity thing. Here, you have everybody that wants to be in a position. Mm -hmm. So what happens is a lot of hate come on, and then we can't build our alliances together to, to get bigger and better. And one of the things I try to do with all the artists was I tried to reach out to a lot of the artists that was hot, whether it was Keith, whether it was Quinn, whether it was mm -hmm. Fab, whether it was well, the Hood Stars, whoever, and give and show them how we can come together. Mm -hmm. But you can only do so much. You gotta now try to make that a domino effect. 
Right. And, if, and if you don't make it a domino effect, then what happens is we just kind of stay in this pot and we don't bubble. So that's why it's great to be doing this because we alliance. You know, it's a battle. Right. But we got nothing but love for Password, for what y'all organization is doing. No and that's what the, and that's what it's all about, is trying to bring all this together. Because if they don't see us sticking together, then they don't care. They're going to be like, hey, whatever. And it's all West Coast, you feel me? Yeah, it's that's like, what it is. We can't let people pigeonhole the West Coast, that's you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And like, you see the way the South get it popping. You got Miami rolling with it, ATL rolling with New Orleans. And they, and can have, they can have funk and they can have disagreements. But when it all comes down to it, it's all about this guap. And they know, you man, know? hey, we got to, we got to. Hold on, man. Chill out. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we got to do. When we here, we got to come together and make sure that we represent the West. Because right now, we're on the lowest level right now as far as how the industry views us. You know, especially in the Bay. You know what I mean? So, we got to step it up. They're you trying know? to blackball motherfuckers. There you go. Shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand that, man. We does that. Half these cats got their game from us. You know what I mean? And, you know, but you don't want to go around and keep saying it because you look like you hating. You know, like you mad. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you got to work harder. So, that's what we're doing, you know, Lock is in there working hard, Frontline working hard, I'm working on a new album, and um, we just out here trying to make sure that, you know, we show that we can get it in. Y'all got any, like, words for the Grind Time uh, fans, you feel me, out there? Um, nah, man, I mean, we just we appreciate the opportunity, man. Like, y'all yeah. doing it, y'all from the respect. West Coast, y'all from the Bay Area, everybody, man, I seen the battle, shout out to Aquas, mm -hmm. shout out to uh, Madness, The Source. Um, man, these cats is doing it, man. We just happy to be a part of it, man. Show that's what we still do. Much respect. Man. Hopefully, we'll continue to fuck with each other. You know what I'm saying? Definitely keep, keep it on the up and up, and that's what it is, man. What's up? What's up? Grind time. You feel me? Frontline, Delmon. We out. One for the trouble. Two for the face. Four, five. Bang my hand, about to put it in your face. Three for the shit. Young niggas love the pump. Real G's walk the walk. Smash on the block. One for the trouble. Two.